The integumentary system. This is our first organ system we'll talk about. It's actually the largest organ is the skin, which is the primary on um, the largest part of the integumentary system. Um, so this intro video, I'll talk about structures and functions, the basics. So what is the integumentary system? A large part of it is the skin. However, it's skin, hair, and nails, and all the associated structures with those structures. So for example, in the skin, there's a lot of other structures other than just the layers of the skin. You can see some behind me right here. And we'll focus on the skin. I will briefly talk about hair, um, nails I will not talk about. What's common about all these is they're made from some of the same proteins. Um, they're all kind of external protective structures. So here is a quick diagram, just kind of showing some of the structures of the integumentary system. Nail shown here. Again, I'm not going to talk about that more, but want to just remind you, nails are part of the system, part that I will not be talking about much more than, more than this. The integumentary system, the skin, is actually really complex um, and it's the largest organ because it covers your entire body. It's also really, really cool. So the integumentary system is the skin, hair, nails, and all the associated structures. These are sometimes called appendages as well of the skin. So the skin has these layers, the epidermis and the dermis. Then there's sublayers like the hypodermis that are technically not part of the dermis itself or part of the skin. Then there's all this other stuff here. Look at all this stuff. There's hairs um, and hair follicles. There's sweat glands and sweat pores. There's oil glands and pores as well that are a little different than your typical sweat. Um, so some of these other glands are shown here, different kinds of sweat glands, blood capillaries. The other big one here is um, the sensory nerve fibers. So there are these different types of actual receptors that detect different types of touch and sensations. And then that information is transmitted to the central nervous system via these fibers here. So that's also a part of the, the skin. So we're gonna be going over these layers and some of these other structures. And the other thing to talk about here is the function. What's the function of the skin? Well, since there's a lot of different structures, there's also quite a few different functions. The main one is protection. The actual physical epidermis and dermis is there for protection and protection against a lot of different things. Really cool how this works is physical protection, right? You've got these layers of cells that are actually dead on top so they can fall off without much damage to you as a individual. So physical protection against UV light as well, the sun. Um, also waterproof. These cells here are waterproof so that you don't soak in water when it rains. Every time it rains, you take a bath. And then we've also got other functions such as cool thermoregulation. So that's both the blood vessels and the sweat glands that contribute to that. Um, sensation then is those sensory nerves. So some of the other smaller functions. And we'll go into those specific functions as we go through all these different um, aspects of the skin.